Hey, listen, you've got a guy up in your tower there with a balaclava on and cami paint. What's going on out there? You we, think this is a game? Listen, I don't even know what you're... Well, uh, let's what's get... Hap- oh, t- tell me what's happening now. I'm telling you that man in cami paint and a balaclava... Cam- what, wait, what's cam... I don't even know what... Camouflage you- paint. Okay, there's a guy with camouflage paint and he's where at? In your tower. Well, what do you Upper mean? Upper left hand window of your tower in the center back side. And what is he supposed to be doing? Well, the question is, you think this is a game? You think this is a I game we're playing? I don't even What are you talking about, Dick? Make yourself plain. There's a guy in the tower. What does that With mean? With camouflage paint, as though he's looking the area over and making some sort of a, uh, a move on something. Is that what you want to do? I don't know. This is the first I've even heard of it. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, then you better find out today. what we're talking about. You're the person in charge in there. You and David, you better take care of these kinds of things, and you better control those people in there. Or what? You want to take us? You want to come in and take us out? No, that's exactly what we do not okay, want to do. Okay, just relax a minute. Let me find out what is going you find, on. This you is find the first out. I've heard anything. I don't even know what you're talking about. You it's find not, out. I'll it's call the you back. Upper window on the tower. You find out what. I'll call you back, Dick. Very well. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hello, Dick. Yes. I went and checked it out. Someone was looking out the window. They might. They had a camouflage jacket on. Is that what you're talking about? In a balaclava. And a bottle of what? A balaclava. I have, what is a balaclava? Well, you check with your people and find out what a balaclava is if you don't know what it is. I have no idea. It's a hood. It's a a hood. It's a hood that goes over the face. We don't even have such a thing. I don't know where on earth you have that. There's a woman up there. We got some jackets a long time ago. Some guy sold us some things. They were cheap, like a dollar or so for the clothes. So the person, and they're 100% cotton. There's a woman up there that had a jacket on that is looking out the window. Let me tell you something, Steve. I'm sitting here trying to work with you, getting no cooperation from you. Are you you. hearing me, though? That's again, I'm telling you what it is. I checked it out. That's exactly what it was. Well, I'm glad you did, but let's caution those people in there about those kinds of things. We've got people out there that get concerned when they see that kind of thing. See someone looking out the window? No. No, no, you listen Making to me. We get concerned when you're on our damn property and you have never come around and said what you would do from the beginning. I am tired of even dealing with you, dick. I really am tired of it. Day after day after day, going on this merry ground with you. Over and over again, the same thing. Remove your crap off our property and we might get serious with you like you originally said. You call me threatening me because we have a human being in our building looking out the window with a ball of what is it, whatever it is. You speak your stupid, crazy language. I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't accuse me and threaten me of anything. If you want to take me out and take these people out, do so. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in the Bible. Try it and find out. I'm anxious to see myself. See if you believe in a God. I, know, I really know you don't. You think you're the only one that talks to God out there? I have never said that, Dick, but I mean, these, the way your manner has been round and around, we've only, we've been so clear about things from the beginning with you. You, you, only think you, you have, have not complied. About... No, no, no. You have not complied from day one with having your vehicles on our private property, which you agreed to. You agreed to that, Dick, you and your people there. And still they wander around, and you've got the audacity to call me up because a human being is looking out a window when you've got guys in our automobiles moving our motorcycles, doing things that you never called me about. You know what I want to say to you? And I'm trying to hold back because I still love you and your soul and those people down there. I do want to communicate with you. We all do. But what is this one-sided business, Dick? Let's start being real serious. That's our point. No, no, it is not your point. You start looking at what, and, record, and you're recording everything, you look to hear what you're saying. It becomes very redundant when you're repetitively saying the same thing. Listen, Deba- what, listen, and you're evading your statements. You asked me to look at that press conference. I did. It made me sick. Of- listen, when you fired on federal officers, you lost some of your private property you know, rights. When they fired on human beings that are to be protected by this very government, which is for the people, by the people, they should be stuck in jail right now. That investigation should be... Just a minute. Here's David. We lost our rights when 